Hello, and welcome to my workshop. I'm going to be showing you how you can build a NeoPixel lightsaber using parts from the custom saber shop. This first video is just going to focus on all of the parts and what they do and how they all fit together in the lightsaber. So let's get right to it. For a hilt, we have all these metal parts up here. Well, this one is a blade holder. It gets screwed into this 4 inch double female section there on which we'll mount a switch and port section here. And then we have a ribbed section which will act as a handle and a place for all of our wires to get bundled up inside. We have a, a double male section so that we can connect our main body section right there. On the end goes a pommel and we have a pommel insert which goes inside and a little C-clip which holds that in place. The parts for the blade we'll start with a we have a 40 inch polycarbonate thin wall tube here and on the inside of this tube there's a hollow piece of foam uh, and that helps diffuse the light from the NeoPixels so that you get a more even light distribution instead of a bunch of little dots uh, which is what these produce. These are 144 pixels each, and each one's about three feet long. Uh, since I'm going to be making a shorter blade, I'm going to cut some of these pixels off. On the end of our blade, we have a tip, which is hollowed out so that you can fit a pixel inside of it and have that light up as well as the rest of the blade. On the other end of the blade, we get this NeoPixel connector adapter into which slots our NeoPixel connector, which looks like that on one side and like that on the other. The last piece of the blade is this tiny little resistor which gets soldered onto those two little squares in the middle of that connector. The electronics for the Sabre itself we have the crystal focus board. We have a 18650 lithium ion battery with 15 amp output. The 15 amps is important because the NeoPixels need that much power to keep going. We have a 28 millimeter bass speaker. Now it's not necessary to use a bass speaker, but I like it because a lot of my favorite fonts have low growls or, or deeper sounds to them, and this helps those come through nice and clear. Our little switch section will be made up of two switches, a larger one and a smaller one, a recharge port, and a rice port. The recharge port has this little kill key in it, which is a, a plastic rod that cuts power to the board so we can solder the battery on and we can still safely solder uh, without having to worry about there being power running through it. The rice port uh, is used to configure the Sabre by connecting it to a PC so you don't actually have to take the SD card out to make changes. We have this hilt side NeoPixel adapter which gets these seven little spring-loaded pins soldered into it so that when the blade makes contact with them, you have a nice, uh, a nice connection between them and you get good electrical signals to the blade. To hold all of these electronics in place, we have first this little NeoPixel adapter, which that piece will slide in, gets held with those two little screws, and then slides into our blade holder, like that, before this slides in and locks it in place. The rest of our chassis will be made up of these threaded rods uh, held together with various discs. So this first one here holds the speaker and we'll get a threaded rod on there and then we'll have these discs which will hold the battery and the soundboard and then this final disc which slides on and then it will lock in place between this female section here and this double male which will slide in and will screw in and lock it in place there. Uh, and once we have that it'll end up looking 
somewhat like this, where you'll have the all the electronics sticking out, and we can slide this piece on and off and screw it. I think that about does it for all the different parts I'm going to be using. Uh, oh, I didn't explain these, which are um, just hollow brass tubes, which we use as spacers. We'll cut it into pieces and use it as spacers between the discs so that everything doesn't slide around on the chassis. Uh, we also have these tiny set screws, which are used to hold the blade in place. And we'll use another one down here in the body so that the chassis doesn't wiggle around at all. When it comes to uh, tools, I got my soldering iron here. I have wire and wire strippers over here. Helping hands. I have heat shrink tubing. This little thing which holds circuit boards while you're soldering. Uh, I'm going to be using probably some screwdrivers, some wire snips, some pliers. I'm probably going to be using this belt sander. Uh, definitely going to be using this drill press here. And I like to keep a tablet out here, which uh, I just keep the crystal focus manual out for whenever I need to look something up, which is very often while building. <laughs> so I think that about does it for the planning episode. And I'm going to take a short break, reorganize, and I'll come back for episode two, which is going to focus on machining of the hilt, uh, getting the holes drilled for these switch sections and tapped for these screws. Uh, I'm going to sand down some of this and uh, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. So, bye.